vegetables. Same way we like to have broccoli and carrots with our roast dinner. We have to give our fish and vegetables as well. They need they need a nice bit of veg. We also got some mussels in here. So everybody here has probably tried mussels or thought about trying mussels. These wouldn't be too nice. We might want to throw a bit of garlic on them if we were going to have some. And we've got some cockles, a little bit smaller, just there. There's also lots and lots of pink shrimp in here. So we've got lots of lovely shrimp just in that there. Now, these fish will be fed twice a day. As I say, they are quite greedy. I'll start chucking it in. I'm just going to mix it all up for them. Okay. Very, very hungry today. Now, this tank's actually one of the warmest in the aquarium. This tank's about 25 degrees. Um, it's also the second largest, so it does look pretty big, but our native tank, which is just the first big, big tank you come to, that's the largest we have in the aquarium. And that one's very, very cold in comparison. If you're going to pick a tank to fall into, I'd pick this one, because this would be like jumping into a nice warm swimming pool. That one would be like jumping into an icy cold bath, so not very nice at all. And now as I'm feeding them, I'll talk a little bit about some of the biggest fish in this tank, which I haven't mentioned yet. Any ideas what they might be? Uh, close, very close. They are, in fact, leopard sharks. So tiger sharks can get a lot bigger than these guys. These guys are fully grown. They're about a metre and a half, and they're about 15, 16 years old. And they're very, very good aquarium fish. They're very good aquarium sharks. And the reason for that is they, they tend to live around the coast of North America, and they like to live in very, very shallow water. So nothing any deeper than about four metres. So they're pretty, pretty... Oh, hello! I'm being waved at from the tunnel.